All right, guys, welcome back. I'm gonna make a short video on all this equipment. We're gonna start on the right hand side here on my pressure washing rig. I've got my PW4200 here, it has 4200 PSI, four gallons a minute. It's in my old lawn mowing trailer I used last year before I got the trailer for my truck. I got this reel here, which attaches to the pump with a gauge because this thing is adjustable for pressure. We got the bollard uh, surface cleaner and the bollard mower deck cleaner on there as well. But uh, overall, a pretty cheap but well built uh, little uh, startup for my pressure washing business next year. Then we got the aerator. This is a used aerator I bought with 200 hours on it. Had to put a little bit of money into it, but other than that, the total investment was about around a little over nine grand. Plus, I put another eighteen hundred dollars uh, for a spreader that is not on it right now. Um, so you know, around eleven, not eleven, but you know, ten. Well, probably around eleven grand total investment on that thing. But it's pretty good for everything I got on it. It's like brand new now, so it's a good backup aerator. Then we got the Stinger Quad Air. Bought this new for sixteen thousand six hundred. Have thirty hours on it. If you're gonna get this, get the seat box on it. It's an extra like two or three grand. Um, so, but it's it's very well worth the investment. It's more than paid itself off now, so it's it's really worth it. Um, still got to clean it up a little bit, but other than that works great uh, doesn't have run flat casters which is disappointing but I'll get some run flats on there soon other than that great machine then we got the stinger super seater wasn't originally gonna pick this up but I did anyway and haven't regretted it it's almost paid itself off in jobs but next spring um, it should pay itself off and make me money um, it's like almost there. It's like, you know, about a thousand dollars off from paying itself off. But once people see the results, a lot more people will want it done. So this thing works great, great money maker. Then we got the aerator, the smaller aerator for the gates. This can also use the sulky that that one has on it. Probably will eventually just get its own separate sulky. That works great. A little bit of a pain in the ass, but all these walk behind aerators, a little bit of a pain in the ass. Moving on to mowers, we got the Z1. Uh, you know, this thing's a pretty good mower. Uh, second mower I bought has 593 hours on it, almost 600 hours on it. Hasn't been used much this year, but it's a really good mower. Moving on to the 3300. Bought this about a month or two ago. Bought it for next year for when I get into the commercial side of the business. Has lights on the front and on the ROPS. Um, it's a great mower. I love the suspension. It's like a Cadillac of mowers. And it's a 60 inch with 40 horsepower Vanguard with oil guard system. And then moving on, I got the 72 inch Z3X, 37 Vanguard. Great mower. Got it equipped with lights as well. And just did a break in oil change on it. Then we got the Z3X 52 inch with a 37 Vanguard. Just put lights on it. Uh, has the tweels as well. These two will be getting tweels soon. Um, but yeah, very good mower. Uh, has the tweels, has the ammo can on there, and also has this detached system on there. So I've been using it to move around the trailer over there. Um, so yeah, works really well. Then we got the Z136 with the 19 horsepower Kawi. That one right there has a 22 horsepower Kawi, the 48 inch. Bulletproof motors, I just really prefer my Vanguards now because I've been spoiled with the power and the oil guard system, but they're really good motors. Um, still, I uh, haven't had many issues with these mowers, but go check out my other reviews for more in depth videos on these mowers. Soon to come, I will have more videos on those aerators. Uh, individually and giving all my opinion on them. Then we got this Yardmax plate compactor. Haven't used it much, but this winter I will when I'm when I'll be doing more landscaping. Now this Yardmax track barrel I have used and it's okay. Um, I've had some issues with it, but when it works, it's great. It's hydraulic dump, 
1100 pound payload capacity has three gears uh, forward and one reverse had some hydraulic leaking issues and now the gear selector isn't working great I can't even put it in reverse but I'll have to fix it then we got the spreaders uh, echo spreader works great love it and then this prize lawn spreader works great I love it I use them mainly for fertilizer now, but one will usually have fertilizer and one will usually have seed in case I can't get the big one into the backyard that has a seed box. But both work great. Would recommend any of them to anybody. Uh, moving on to the handheld stuff here. I've got the 7310 chainsaw. Really bought this for shits and giggles, but I'll probably be using it for the overgrown hedges along with this one, which I already do. Got the shred and vac. Things bulletproof. Use it like a wood chipper almost. Um, it does get clogged sometimes, but when you're just doing leaves like it's supposed to be meant for, it does fine. Then we got the uh, Rev Max 8560, good blower. I just prefer my 9010s, which this is the Shindala version of the 9010. And I got two of the Echo ones over there, along with a Rev Max 7500, which was my first blower I bought. Good blower, but that'll be turned into a sprayer soon. Uh, then we got the handheld blowers. I got the 2620 and then the 2520 here. If I had to pick 2620 just because it's more comfortable in the hands. Well, this is a great starter blower as well. Weed eater wise, got a lot of them here. Got the 410X, which I use for brush and hillsides. Got the 3060 TS, which isn't a bad trimmer, but I just prefer my echoes over it. Video will be coming out soon on it. Um, then we got the 3020Ts, got one there and one here. Those are my go-to trimmers, I love them. Uh, they can keep up with me in the speed I weed eat, great. Even on the bi-weekly stuff. Then we got the 2620 Paz units, we got two there and one here. Those are my first trimmers. Um, bulletproof, that one right there I've had for over five years and it's, it's a great trimmer, I love it. Um, we got a whole bunch of attachments here for them that we'll get to in a second. But first, we've got the 2510T, which is a good trimmer. I only really use it on weekly yards. Can't really keep up with me on the bi-weekly yards, but that's okay. Good trimmer, though. Then we've got a hedge trimmer, Shindala hedge trimmer. It's a pretty good trimmer now that it's broken. It starts reliably now. Uh, was pretty hard to start at the beginning, but once it's broken, it's good. Attachment wise, we've got this power broom, uh, battery definer, which is a good investment to make a lot of money. Hedge trimmers, which those are money makers as well. Brush cutters uh, with this nice brush blade on it that's chainsaw teeth style, which is a very good, you know, thing to buy. A uh, cultivator for uh, tilling up beds and just general bed maintenance to give it a fresh look. Um, pole saw right here along with its extension that also works on the hedge trimmers as well. And then we got a bed edger or a stick edger which I'll use every once in a while for overgrown yards. We went over these guys here. We've got some more chainsaws. We've got a CS590 Timberwolf. That was my first saw. Great saw. Love it. Uh, but just uh, doesn't really get used much right now, but you know, I'll use it on trees and stuff every once in a while. Then we get this guy. This is the one I use the most for doing pruning um, and just doing a, like small little uh, limbing jobs. But other than that, uh, it gets used quite often. But that's all the two stroke equipment. We got one more two stroke piece of equipment actually. <laughs> I do not have outside but it's this Toro auger this thing I made a lot of money with um, actually just by subcontracting the company fence companies would subcontract me out to do post holes for them so that thing's paid off have haven't done too much post hole digging work recently because I haven't had time but in the winter that's a this is a good little investment to make some money it's more than paid itself off then we got the super jack which I don't use anymore. If any of y'all would be interested in having it, let me know. I'll probably sell it for like, I don't know, 200 bucks. Just let me know. I don't use it. It doesn't work on my bigger mowers. I just don't have the weight to push it down. And I'll be getting a chain hoist soon. So, but 
let me know if y'all want that but anyway that's all the equipment here hopefully y'all enjoyed that was a little quick i'm trying to make a quick video for you um going through all of it but don't want to spend 30 minutes talking about it uh go check out my other videos for more in-depth reviews more videos will be coming soon especially on some of the weed eaters here and some of the aerators and once these mowers get more hours on them i'll get some more videos out on the mowers and hopefully some of these mowers in action some videos of that for you but until then keep grinding out there hope you all enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one